Today I'm going to talk to you about herb growing. Herb growing is very similar to farming in Albion Online. That requires a farm plot. Now why would you want to grow herbs over f crops? Well, I'll tell you right now, in the current market economy, herbs sell for way more for the exact same cost and the exact same investment than crops. So if you're looking to maximize your earnings and you've just started, you know, you just got your personal island, you don't have any spec in anything, you definitely want to go with herbs in the current market. Though this could change in the future, there's no telling how the markets will change, but let's get into today's video. On screen is each herb and how much they will yield when watered or not watered, and the average profits that you will get rounded down currently. We're going to talk more about that later. These numbers are a little off in the current market, but based on the last four months, you will average 3,000 silver per nine crops, nine crops being the average amount that you receive per square when harvested, okay? So as you can see here, the best crop to technically plant, according to this screen, is foxglove, but I'm going to talk more about that in a bit and show you what the actual best crop is. Uh, you can see here that you, you can expect to make about 405,000 silver per day. However, that is based on the last four months. If you were to currently run the numbers, which I'm about to show you, it's well over 550,000 silver per day. But there's no telling if that's going to last or not. So let's get into the next slide. Here are the current market averages as of September 4th, 2022 for each of the herbs, nine being the average that you harvest per square, okay? You can see agaric, the tier two herb, is the lowest, whereas yarrow, the tier eight herb, is the highest. And the reason why yarrow is worth so much right now is because of the invisibility potion meta. There is a current meta of gatherers being hunted down and killed, people solo fame farming in the open black zones, being massively hunted down currently by invisibility potion users that can just get right up next to a player and then gank them extremely quickly and efficiently. This meta is being pushed heavily by other YouTubers, and therefore the price of invisibility potions has skyrocketed, Yero being one of the ingredients required to brew such, such, bleh, such a potion. Anyway, uh, if you look back a year ago, poison potions were generally in the meta, and agaric and comfrey were the leaders. Whereas now agaric, uh, or I'm not, I'm sorry, comfrey and burdock were the leaders, but now comfrey is sitting about average and burdock is about midway compared to the other herbs. So again, this is just a current snapshot. This is not uh, market advice or anything of the sort. Um, pretty much you pick any herb right now and you're going to profit. But a lot of YouTubers are speculating that the invisibility potion will be nerfed, which means that sales will absolutely plummet. And the value of yarrow, or yarrow, however you pronounce it, will die along with it. So you have to be cautious. Now, you're not just profiting from the plants themselves, but also the additional seeds that you may yield whenever you mass harvest and mass water the plants. Because of this, you have to factor in how much the seeds are being sold currently on the market. The seeds will almost always be sold below vendor value, but depending on how much below vendor value, based on supply and demand, is, that will cut into your profit margin. So if we look at this chart, we can see that Dragon Teasel is by far the best plant to harvest because the seed value compared to the market value compared to the vendor value is a 70 silver difference compared to everything else where, with agaric being a 480, comfrey um, being the next lowest one, which is what I personally do. Because it's um, through the last like s couple of years, it's been very sound. Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of the middleman. It's a very steady choice. Whereas yarrow, while being the most profitable plant to sell currently, uh, also will cost you seven hundred silver per seed. Uh, so yeah, and again, the the seed yield on yarrow is so low that you're almost never going to see two seeds. But when you do, you're only getting seven hundred for it. So, and that's up to you, man. Like. Uh, but he, here's the numbers now. There's one last thing to consider. You have to consider the amount of sales rates for each herb. And what I mean by that is how much is being bought and sold in the market every day? So this is the sales volume for the last four weeks in Bridgewatch. I could go to every city. Every city will be slightly different, especially Carleone is going to have way higher numbers than this. But 
And for instance, I sell from Bridgewatch, so I care about the volume of sales in Bridgewatch. You can see that Agaric is being one of the lowest. Yero is also kind of low, whereas the highest is Mul Mulin? Mulian? I don't know how to say it. Teasel is very nice. Burdock also nice. And Comfrey is a nice average. So what you have to do is consider everything, all of these numbers, all of these metrics to determine what is the best crop to sell. And very easily looking at the data, the daddle, the data that would be Teasel. Teasel is by far the best crop right now for herb gatherers to sell based on how much it's sold for, how often it's sold, and the seed return rate in silver. That won't always be the case. I'm sorry that it won't be, but right now it currently is. You'll have to do the little bit of research for yourself, but I will say that Comfrey and Bardock are very safe. Comfrey being the safest plant, just like uh, with with crops, wheat being the safest plant to grow. And it was a long time ago when I did these similar tests too. But hopefully this helped you pick out a crop that you want to grow. If you're new to farming or farmland, having an herb garden is definitely the way to go. It's what I did when I first got my very first personal island. I grew herbs. I started potion brewing, which currently potion brewing is not profitable, at least not unless you do very certain things. Uh, with that said, though, hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this will make you lots of money and lots of profit. Once you have one of these herbs maxed out, you're going to make over 500,000 silver per day, just watering crops, picking up the plants and selling the excess extra seeds and the crops themselves. Whereas you want to keep enough seeds to rewater every single day, but anything after that is just pure profit. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Soul Benji. Make sure that you subscribe because I make videos every day. I also read every single comment, so leave me a comment. It helps me out. Also, like the video, of course. And if you want to financially help me out, click the thanks button to leave a donation right below this video. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button right below this video. It's five bucks a month. You'll get access to private personal videos, videos that are just too good to share with the public. There is a playlist in the pinned comment section for members only videos. Check it out. If one of those interests you, consider becoming a member. Anyway, that's all I've got. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Take care. Before you go, I do want to mention a few things. Um, if you are a YouTuber, doesn't matter, small, big, whatever, and you play Albion online and you want to collab, then hit me up. Talk to me in my own Discord. There's a link in the description. I don't care if you're big or small. I just care that you're pumping out videos and getting an okay amount of views. You know, you have to actually be trying. Don't just put out a video with music behind it. You actually have to be a YouTuber, as in someone that speaks over the video. I don't I don't want to collab with people that just put rap music behind game footage. As cool as some of those videos are, it's not really something that's super acceptable. But um, anyway, with that said, uh, there is a Discord link in the description. You can check it out if you want. I know... Um, you gotta be 18 or older. If you're using an Apple device, you have to unclick a not safe for work check mark or something. Uh, with that said, uh, there is still a bounty on, um, gifting me three, uh, certain games to learn a crafting exploit that is a developer oversight. There is more information about that at the end of the video, uh, titled where I crafted for one entire month and here's my profit. So check that video out on my channel if uh, you have some money to burn and you want a crafting exploit. Yay! Thank you so much. Take care.